Welcome to Liam Ward Rank Up Series, where I only use Liam Ward to reach Mythic in solo queue with a win rate more than 70%. The enemy had no tank in the first game, so I decided to try out a different build for Liam Ward. My current build is more like a meat shield with the Bloodlust and Oracle combo. The new build still keeps me tanky, but I replace Bloodlust Axe with War Axe and Hunter Strike. After my late initiation to attack Harley, I took him out and started lowering the HP of both Yuzhong and Martis. They seem to try to take me out here, but Yuzhong jumps right into Selena's arrow and she sweeps out both of them. Then, I kept poking this Martis till low health. I noticed he used up his second skill second phase, making him an easy target now. This game was the perfect testing ground for my new build. I have started to like this build already. I used to think Bloodlust was an amazing item, but it's only good when you have minions around you to quickly heal. In team fights, it's pretty much playing physical attack. In the next game, I was against Dyroth. I was pretty safe and defensive and froze minions near my lane so that I don't lose any gold. The only time I can take him out was in team fights. This was an intense team fight, and if I retreat here, it would have ended badly. After taking out Dyroth, the remaining enemies were just easy prey. We ended trading three enemies for two allies and won the team fight here. Then, my team just targets Dyroth for some reason. I was happy since I was having a good time, but Clint was easily getting items and was pretty farmed. I was trying to end the game quick and kept pushing. My team messed up here and everyone started dying. I made sure to take out Clint along with me. It was a rare sight seeing an enemy appreciate you. I remember when I started playing this game around five years ago when the MLBB community was very nice and interactive. I will make a video about that soon. Anyway, we won the game eventually since only Clint was carrying. The next game I was landing against the Terizla, the homie who is hard to kill even in 10% HP. In the early game their Franco kept trying to annoy me, but our jungler also rotated in the same time and gave an Uno reverse card to the enemies. Then, I kept poking Terizla and thought that I can take him out too. He was way more tanky than I expected and I was dealing was less damage than I expected. I ended forgetting that I didn't have Bloodlust Axe 2 so ending fighting and dying. It's fine since I got humbled. The enemies kept targeting me, but I ended surviving all the time. Here, you can see how Liam Ward's shield is a game changer. This shield has saved me many times in many games. After this, I was moving freely around the map and didn't think Franco would use his ultimate. I first tried to retreat, but walked in a straight line helping Franco again. Then I decided just to survive till my team arrived and it ended working. Eventually, we ended and won the game. The next game we had a Granger Gold lane and I was doubtful of my team's late game survival.
but the enemy Gushan was pretty inexperienced and AFK most game, so we easily won. I cut the rest of the game because there's no fun in seeing an AFK getting killed. We entered Legend 1 with this win. The next game, enemies always tried to gank me and were almost successful. This was another moment showing how much of a lifesaver a tiny shield is. Almost in all these games, I had to regularly rotate to mid lane to attack the turret. I took out mid turret before my lane turret. It's fine if you trade it with your turret because mid lane is the most important since it opens up the map a lot. After taking out the enemies with bad coordination, it was another win. I had a star protection card and win streak, so I had to only win with good stats to get quickly to Mythic. I kept poking Aldous whenever he tried to last hit the minions and wanted to take him out now. I noticed many players don't want to recall. Don't do this mistake because if you end dying, you will be giving 200 gold and gold shield and lose some minions XP too. As usual, I tried taking out the mid turret again, but this time he chased me. He was pretty fed since our marksman died to him. I knew I was dead here, but still tried to take someone along with me. What surprised me was that our mage ended dying too. And, I forgot to mention that my team had no tank. I had no hope on bombing, so I was the only proper frontliner for the team. My team got the Lord and Yin also missed his stun on me. But, my team had already retreated so Yin survived. I feel my team did the right thing by retreating and attacking with the Lord and we won. The next game, the enemies hit Yin and Aldous again. I almost buy Dreadnought armor every time in the early game unless both the EXP and Jumblers are magic damage. It's pretty helpful since it slightly reduces enemies physical attack and helps me sustain better in early game without feeding. As usual, I took out the mid lane turret again when both teams are fighting for the turtle. Then, I kept bullying Aldous and took him out for staying in the lane. As the game went on, I was only pushing and being pretty annoying for the enemy. Three of them tried to take me out. My tank came to help me but suddenly my ping became unstable and I couldn't aim properly. It was late, but I made sure to take out their marksmen along with me too. Another win and this gave me an extra star too. I needed one more win to reach Mythic. The final game, I was against an Alpha, I was being pretty safe and just tried to poke him. But seeing him use his spell so early made me very disappointed as well as happy. I kept poking him and took him out, but their jungler made an early rotation and took me out while I tried to cut the lane. I like when such things happen because it reminds me to stay humble and never be overconfident. 
Another mid turret falls as a victim to me and we had a chance to end the game eventually. I was desperate to finish the game and ended dying. The game went 22 minutes long and we got another lord, I initiated and ended dying. But, two enemies went down along with me in that fight. And finally, the lord gave a bonk to the base securing my seat in Mythic. This was an amazing series and seemed impossible to me at a moment, but we finally did it. I kept a target of 70% but ended with a win rate of 81%. I am ending this series here and going to rest now. I think I would have posted a poll by now too about the next season challenge and I am very excited about it. Thank you for the immense support you all showed to me till now. Let's keep growing and have fun together. I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe and stay hydrated.